Hi, Chris with Truckee Meadows Pest Control. Today we're out on our job, we're going to be doing some marmot trapping. Um, marmots can be very, very destructive. There's a lot of issues that you have with them. Um, we're on a property here that's got some block walls. The marmots are just running rampant. We've actually been on this property for, for two years now. And we have probably trapped, I don't know, between 50 and 70 marmots out here. So we're getting to the end of it. It's been over a couple years. The marmots only come out certain periods of, of time in the year. They like to come out and sun themselves. Um, so you see them a lot of times uh, late spring uh, into summer. That's when they're out and mostly active. Again, we're here on this, this job site just because there's one or two left and they've kind of shown up here after our, our winter time. So we're gonna knock out the ones that we have here. Um, but I'm gonna take you over and show you some of the property and some of the areas where the marmots like to live. They're super destructive. They, uh, they live in these block walls and they excavate through the rocks. Rocks that end up starting to crumble down. Um, and one of the reasons why this customer isn't very happy with them is they, they poop everywhere. So there's tons of marmot poop along the rocks, uh, all over the place, which starts attracting the flies, which is a problem. Also, here we, in northern Nevada, we don't have a lot of problems or issues with, with fleas. But when you get a large population of animals like these, the, whether they're squirrels, the marmots, um, that are living underground, fleas can start becoming a problem. And you'll get close to some of these holes where they're living, and in the, in the summertime, you can actually see the fleas that are all around the burrows. So I'm gonna take you over, I'm gonna show you a couple of areas where we know the marmots are coming and going from quite consistently show you what that looks like and then I'm going to show you a couple of conibear traps how you set them and uh, how to be careful with them they're they're pretty gnarly traps they will will break an arm they definitely marmots can be anywhere from 5 to 10 pounds all the way up to 25 30 pounds so these will these will get them the conibear traps work really well in this kind of situation live trapping doesn't really work it's real tough to coax a marmot into a live trap to get rid of them we don't have much success with that but we have a lot of success with conibear traps so let me take you to a couple areas show you where they're coming and going from some of the destruction they do some of the feces that are left over and then i'll show you how to set some traps and uh we'll get a marmot so this is a a conibear trap we have painted these high visibility green, hopefully so people see them and don't mess with them. Um, they have, you can anchor them here at the end. Well, it's always a good idea. We tag ours with our, our license number and our company name. So everybody knows we're doing this above board officially. Um, so let me show you how you set one of these. You gotta be pretty careful with them. You gotta get a set of trap setters. you pinch one side and set the safety now you can turn it around and set the other side sometimes it could be a pain in the butt set the safety on that side now you take it make sure these are centered you're going to want to bring this up this is your trap your set right here so we can move this over once again take it and you can pinch it tight And this is going to let loose your sets on either side and then there you go and now that is set for a condor bear so what you're going to want to do is set this in front of an entryway of where the marmots are coming and going they're going to come through here and they will hit that which will set the, the trap and these basically just snap 180 degrees and it'll it'll catch them in there
and kill them. So let me show you a spot where we could set one of these and show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is a good spot right here. We've seen the marmots coming and going right in through there. So all I'm gonna do basically is just set this right here close to where they come and go. Now you can see there's a little bit of a gap over here on this side. I can just kind of place this rock and that gives them a good area of where they're gonna come through. And if they do, they're gonna hit that and it's gonna snap. All right, well, thanks for watching this episode of What's Bugging You. I'm Chris with Truckee Meadows Pest Control. Um, if marmots are something that's bugging you, give us a call. We can help with that. Again, thank you.